Hey, what's up guys, how are you doing? Isn't it a good day today to talk about the real estate game? Because for some people, it seems like real estate investing might very well be a game, while for others, it seems as enjoyable as unclogging a toilet with their bare hands, if you see what I mean. So let's agree on one thing. It doesn't seem like everybody has the same experience with real estate investing. So let's figure this out. Is it true or not that real estate is a game? Coming up. Hey guys, thanks for showing up. My name is Alex Boileau. I'm a realtor and a real estate investor and today we're going to discover why some people seem to be having fun with real estate while others aren't. We'll talk about what real estate can do for you if you play it well and if real estate is really a game. How do you play it without losing your shirt? Because at the end of the day, investing can look boring from the outside. But is it possible to transform this into your favorite game? For those of you who don't know, I used to be a hardcore gamer. Not anymore though, because over time I became more mature and my priorities changed. Or maybe that's because I'm currently on a dopamine detox. Who knows? But the only thing that we know for sure is that it's gonna be a video for another time. But like I was saying, as an ex-hardcore gamer, I know the feeling of spending hours and hours trying to finish a never-ending quest in Zelda Breath of the Wild. When you can barely sleep because all you can think of is how you're gonna find the freaking 120 shrines. And when you finally get this done, the feeling of accomplishment that submerged your body for a quick moment is indescribable. And then the circle is completed and you're doing it all over again. This inner drive can consume your life if applied to the wrong thing and this is why you need to direct all of this mental energy into something truly meaningful to you. And this is what I have done with real estate. It's always been in the back of my mind since a very young age but it's only 9 years ago that I decided to give it my 100% and to spend a countless amount of time studying it. The more I learned about it, the more confident I became and the more exciting it all became. And today. I can proudly say that I'm having a blast doing complex real estate transactions on a daily basis. And the unknown is uncomfortable and scary and this is why it is so important to learn as much as you can if you want to transform real estate into your game and have fun with it. And I will always remember a couple years ago before my daughter was born, I had a job that I absolutely hated. I was always on the road, I was never sleeping home and I wasn't making much money at all. It was really hard to manage my properties and I had absolutely no time to spend with my girlfriends or even just with friends. This job wasn't working out for me and I knew I needed to change that. And after tweaking a couple numbers in our budget, I finally had a solution. The day my first daughter was born, I quit my job and I never went back. I calculated that if we were reducing our spendings as much as possible, in addition to our very low cost of living while house hacking, me and my girlfriend could both live off the cash flow that we were receiving from our rental properties. With her maternity leave income, the child benefit and the cash flow from our rental properties, we were covering all of our expenses and even more. I'm not gonna lie, it felt weird to become a dad and unemployed on the same day. But little did I knew that the following 6 months would become some of the best memories that I have to this day. Being home every single day and spending an infinite amount of time with my daughter and my girlfriend was something that I was incredibly grateful for. I also took the time to do many courses and study real estate even more, while playing a fair amount of video games obviously. So is it fair to say that playing the real estate game allowed me to play even more games? I think so. It kind of makes sense, right? I guess so. Yeah. So tell me in the comments down below what you guys would do if you could live off your cash flow. Would you retire or would you keep working and invest all of it? Or would you do something crazy? Let me know in the comments down below. There's a lot of different factors that can affect the pleasure of owning real estate. And a big one that can affect everybody is the current state of the market that you are in. Are you in a cold market or a hot market? A cold market is usually called a buyer's market. There's a lot of reasons why this might happen, 
but a common reason is when there are too many active listings on the market for the amount of buyers. So the buyers have a lot of options and they become pickier and it generally results in sellers reducing their price and staying longer on the market. And because houses are getting more affordable, rents tend to follow the curve. So as an investor in this market, it's going to be way harder to sell your properties for a good amount. You will receive less application and it's going to get tougher to find great tenants. And on top of that, your rents will go down and you might become cash flow negative if you are over leveraged. But you will have a great opportunity to purchase properties way cheaper than before and hopefully you will enjoy a significant increase in value on your properties when the market returns to its normal state. On the other hand, a hot market is usually called a seller's market. This can happen for many reasons, but often it's when there are a lot of new job opportunities in a specific location and people are moving to this location and they need a place to live. If there isn't enough houses for sale for the amount of buyers, properties are going up in price and they are selling fast, which also leads to an increase in rents. So for the savvy investor in a hot market, this means that you can usually get more rent per unit and maximize your cash flow. You will also be receiving way more applications, so it's going to be even easier to find great tenants. If you're doing some renovation projects or flips, the market will help you sell faster and for more money. But be careful, in this type of market, you are risking to make bad purchases or to greatly overpay for a property. And don't forget, all of the numbers look great in a hot market. But if the market goes down too much or if you are over leveraged, this can be catastrophic. Be very cautious of what you buy in a hot market and be very conservative on your numbers. You know what they say, buy when it's low, sell when it's high and keep smashing the like button. Personally, I have invested during a cold and a hot market and the difference between both can be devastating. I've seen so many investors losing their shirt when the market is shifting from hot to cold. If you want to survive the real estate game long term, you will need to adapt your investment strategy to every type of market because it is very hard to predict when the market will shift. And please, don't get into real estate if you only have one strategy or one game plan because this is exactly how you do to fail the real estate game. So for those of you who have watched my previous video on house hacking, you are now starting to realize that my life is deeply intertwined with real estate. For me, it's not only an investment, it's a way of living. It's what allowed me to take six months off work to take the time that I needed to turn my life around. It's what allowed me to never pay for rent and to live for cheap. It gave me more freedom and opened up more opportunities than anything else that I've ever done. So honestly, I don't know if real estate is a game. I don't actually know if you can play it or even win it. But what I do know is that it changed my life. Nine years ago, when I did my first Google search to understand what cash flow meant, I had no idea where real estate would lead me. I had absolutely no idea that one day I would make a living from it. And I definitely had no idea that I would be talking about it right here, right now.